It's the most wonderful time of the year. Oh my god. I, I can't I can't I can't even start it because it just feels so surreal. Let's go. I'm obviously gonna watch this twice. Oh, right straight away. Straight away. So far. That was beautiful. Oh boy, his tattoo was gone. His voice. Focus on immaculate. Wow, the color grading on that and the styling and the color palette is amazing. Please don't tell me that's the same fucking dancer that was in I am um, advice as well. He needs to let that hairstyle go. Do you know what's crazy? That song, I think, for return and from what he's been through, it makes perfect sense. It's subdued, not much happened, which is why I'm not I'm not obsessed with the song. The video is amazing, his vocals are phenomenal. Um I'm gonna watch it again and see what it reminds me of. I think it reminds me of is it the weekend? Um, from, I'll, I'll think of it, but it reminds me of a few songs like that. Um, yeah, I would prefer, I would see this more as a pre release. It doesn't feel like the title track, like this big return, but it's also something that feels honest and feels artistic and it feels like time still went into it. So it feels underwhelming to me, but I still see that it wasn't, it's not a subpar production overall. You know, you can have both. His vocals are immaculate.
Um, and also, it reminds me of his own uh, song. It reminds me of um, Strings uh, with a bit of clockwork, funny enough. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think Strings is a good comparison, if I can remember correctly. But also, what other song of his does it remind me of? Um, yeah. Even the... Yeah. Also, you also hear a slight difference in his voice as well. This, he's sung... Now he doesn't sing like that anymore. Now he sings way more relaxed. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, these... doesn't do that yeah this is very similar it's like part one and part two you hear how it relaxes sounds like it's like like there's no like it's just very so relaxed and so oh you, you just kind of flow with him like, even that Sorry, I want to pause again. And it also, the reason why I hear it is because I can hear himself relaxing or trying to, or keeping relaxed. Like before when he sang, it felt like he's singing to prove something, even when he's not planning to, because he's just determined. But here it just sounds like, I'm just singing. This is what you're going to get. You can just, there's a, there's, a, there's a change in his, in his mindset when it comes to his singing that I can just pick up on without even seeing him sing. You just hear it. You just hear it. It's all about like the diction as well. Everything's a bit more flowy and connected. Like that phrase is so nice. So relaxed. Yes. the sky as well ah oh, again the same bit again can just feel that it's changing placement wise to just oh my god it just sounds so good Yeah, 
Jesus. Oh my Lord, Jesus. You know what? I think if um, I wish it was different chords, but still with the same feeling, I would have. I think I would have enjoyed that because it's yeah, it stays on that um, those those similar chords, which are not really the ones I connect to. So in terms of a title track, I think in terms of a song, would I rush to listen to it again? No, I'll probably give it a six because the vocals carried it. Actually, I'm, I mean, I probably hey Yeti, I'll probably revisit it for the vocals alone because this is some of his best singing. So I'm very excited for the rest of the album. Like this is he he is doing different things with with just no pressure on his voice. I just am floored. So I'm into two more songs, as you know, for YouTube and the rest we're doing Patreon. The Risenness. Now this lot, I know people saw the title and was like, what the fuck? Let's see. <laughs> Boomerang, boomerang. Sounds like Kai song. The fuck? Is it the same producer? Let me check. It feels like it feels like it's actually the same key as well. Let me actually see the lyrics as well. What's the name of the song? Boomerang, boomerang. <laughs> uh, I didn't like that song, but Black Mirror. Should we check if it's the same producer? Click. Uh, Black Mirror. Oh, we probably do not. I probably won't even show me because it's too ad. Uh, okay, too soon. <laughs> All right, rapper teaming. I feel like this is going to be a very dark album. That production, Jesus. Sounds so good. It works, so somehow saying business works. It's the attitude, he's, he's selling it. And the production's doing enough.
know what? I actually would give that 6.5. Because <laughs> it has an energy and I can hear myself like just being in it. And his vocals suit the vibe so well. And he's really in it. It works really well. So I like that. She loves me. She loves me not. This man's voice, I was trying to think, what's a low note? What's this thing? What's something that he did low notes on before? Um, that I can um, show you guys the difference. Um, taming uh, two kids? I don't know if that's a good one now. I don't know, he sings quite low. I mean, he's, he's looking as low. And can you also hear the... Then no, he just really, really, he was pronouncing the fuck out of them words before the military. And now he just let go of that. And, but these lows are not, these lows are amazing. It sounds like someone else. But it's crazy because when I listen to older stuff, it sounds like him. But there's just a... It's, oh my god, I'm, I love his voice now even more. What? And it's so rich. And you hear that? We just listened to, we just heard two kids, right? How he's singing those phrases, us. It's so relaxed. It's, I, it's like. It's like, you know, if someone's like had some marijuana and they're like talking and they're just so relaxed. That's what he sounds like when he sings now. Not to insinuate, that's what he knows. But he just sounds, it helps his tone so much more. And there's an openness to it that it's just, who would have thought someone would do that? Who would have thought when, there's, when you thought there's no more room to grow, there's room to grow? Crazy. <laughs> I'll go more into more detail with his killing voice and his mooding service because I'm just going to annoy you lot. But um, you can... Oh, I can't wait for that. I'll explain it more then. But it doesn't have that... Oh, it sounds great. I don't like this chorus though. This song is not really. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm gonna sound like a broken record at this point. Sounds so smooth, man. Wow. This is uh, this is his best work vocally so far. This album, this is this is because he's now playing with dynamics in a way that is just so nuanced, and he's singing like an, a seasoned singer and adding interpretation and feeling, and not just hitting the notes or just doing to prove. It's not just it's not just impressive. It's very expressive now. He's doing the things that I was saying I heard with Dio's album, where you can hear that. Ooh, you you are because every song, even the ones I don't love, he's still painting things in a way that's interesting. He's interpreting, he's finding new ways to interpret lines and words, and and using his falsetto in different times and bringing it at the interesting times. And that's how you know someone's a singer. And he's been working on his vocals because the things he's doing, I've not really heard him sing like this before. Like it's it's not so straightforward. He's kind of it's like he's broken the walls of what he perceived to be a great vocalist and in breaking those walls he's freed up his voice and freed up his interpretations and freed up his dynamics and he sounds fantastic I think also something that he started doing is, as Jake would love to say, he zipped up his vocals so there's no excess air. Whereas before he was going for like, like he'd be like, she loves me, loves me now. It would, it would have had so much more air and attitude. But now it's just very tight and like, she loves me, she loves me not. And then it just keeps it tight and, ooh. She loves me, she loves me yeah, he's just singing straight. There's no flourishes. Um, and that's a hard song to rank now because vocally, I'll give it a five. I was going to give it lower, but I think the vocals got me over the, over the edge. Um, right, I went to the rest on Patreon now. Join me there. Peace. Not over you. Oh, everything feels very moody so far. <laughs>